Granny. Well, hello, dearie. Wondering if there's anything, I'm on my way to your house. Wondering if there's anything special you want in your basket of goodies. Well, aren't you just as sweet as a gumdrop? No, I just can't wait for you to get here. Are you sure? Because I can get you anything. Yes, just please hurry. Because I can get you anything. You must be hungry. I am! Which is why I need you to hurry. This might be a bad connection, but you have really big eyes. That's so I can see you better in this teeny little screen. And you have really big ears. So I can hear you better. You can put in your earbuds. You don't stay in, I'm afraid. And you have, and you're really hairy. Well, theory. when a woman reaches a certain age, one develops a bit of a mustache problem. And you have really sharp teeth. It's because I'm so hungry. I don't think that's it. Just get over here, you little brown. I just miss you so much. And I can't wait to hug and squeeze you to death. You don't sound like my granny. Why don't you just get over here? We'll discuss it in person. Uh, well, hold on. I just got another call. <gasps> Hello? Mm. Granny? Yes, dear? N not you. My granny. I'm your granny. <laughs> dear, please get here. Please hurry. You're not my granny. Ran! Ran! Granny, what's wrong? He's the big bad wolf. What? <laughs> nah. -uh. You are the big bad wolf. No, I'm not. She's lying. That's fake news right there. <laughs> when, why do you look like a wolf? Who are you gonna believe? Me? Or your lying eyes? Red, run before he eats you. <laughs> Don't worry, Granny. I got this. Fairy Tale On Star here to help you with your emergencies. If you're having witch issue, press one. If you're having trouble guessing someone's name, press two. If your head is stuck in a pail, press three. If you're having wolf troubles, press four. Four. You have selected wolf. I'm not a wolf. I'm a granny. No, you're not. Shut up. No one is talking to you. If the wolf is huffing and puffing, press one. If someone is crying, press two. If the wolf is in disguise, press three. Three, three. If he's in sheep's clothing, press one. Come on, man, that was one time. If he's dressed as your granny, press two. Two, two, two. I see, the wolf is trying to eat you and your granny. No, I'm not. I have a woodsman in your area. He can be here between noon and seven. That'll be fine. Thank you for using Fairy Tale On Star. You better get out of there. Oh, woodsman is coming. Fine, fine. You know what? I didn't want to eat your granny. She's a little past her sell by date, but you forced my hand. It's not your fault, Red. Oh, it's totally your fault. Are you sure you want to stick around and eat her? The woodsman could be here any second. They're never on time. Besides, I think I can keep a woodsman from killing me. Oh, no. OnStar only sends no kill woodsmen. They don't kill you. They just fix you. Fix you? Fix ya. Fix ya! Ah! He's gone, sweetie. 
Why don't you bring those goodies over now? I made brownies. Woo! Happily ever after? Ah! Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Maleficent, my queen, everyone knows your grace and beauty continually grows. Well, aren't you sweet? You know my blessing, you know my curse. I only speak the truth, sometimes in word. Mirror, mirror, all golden and grand, am I still the fairest of the land? What? Am I the first? Seriously? You're going to make me do this? What happened to your rhymes? Forget that. You know I can't lie. So I'll have to tell you something you do not want to hear. Then you'll take all your anger and rage out on me. And who gets broken into a million pieces? I do not have anger issues. No, that group therapy is really paying off for you. Answer my question. Am I the fairest of the land? I, oh, I don't want to. Fine. No, no. You are not the fairest in the land. <sighs> what? See? This right here, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not the fairest of the land. Are you kidding? You killed the king to take his throne. Is that fair? No, of course not. But that's not what I mean. All right, fairest? No. I'm not the fairest. Let's see. The latest polling says you have a 41% approval rate of good job and a 57% poor job. Nobody said fair. Ah, 57% poor. Well, we'll have to deal with them later, but that's not what I mean. Right, sorry, fair. Well, last week at Croquet, you totally cheated. So no, you don't play fair. But I won, didn't I? Also, and that's not what I'm asking. Well, you're not blonde. No, duh, but not that kind of fair. You're not a carnival. Still. Not that kind of fair. Are you doing this to, to avoid the one question I want to know? Which is? Am I pretty? Pretty? Pretty. Am I the, yes. Am I the prettiest woman in all of the land? Pretty? pretty. Yes. Pretty. T pretty. Then yes, you are the first in line. Really? Absolutely. You're pretty, but Snow White is smoking hot. <laughs> Smack. Little iPhone in my hand. Am I the fairest in the land? Dad? Prince? Good. I'm glad I caught you. Mom's here too. Say hi, honey. Is everything okay? I'm just... I'm in over my head. What's up, son? I just... I don't know if I'm ready for this. Are we ever ready? But you and dad, 
Mom, you managed to rule over everything and you made it look so easy. It took practice. Yeah, there was a time when your dad could even put two words together. You're exaggerating. Am I? It was the one time. And I was tired. I fought dragons that were easier to take down. Do you have supplies? I thought I did, but now I'm not sure. I think we've gone through everything. Everything? You should have seen it, Mom. It was so bad. It came from everywhere. We won't let you fall. We're here to help. Let's take this step by step. I'm just so sorry to ask. You're retired. You shouldn't have to deal with it. Nobody ever really retires from this job. It's just, I've always been counted on. But now... You can't doubt yourself, dear. Show weakness and they swoop in and take advantage. And the title will grow on you. Yes, you'll develop strategies to deal with every single attack. Battle plans. That's what your father and I call them. I'm not sure I'm cut out for this. Of course you are. But there's no end in sight. We finish one fight, then another one comes in to take its place in this battle. I'm already battle weary. It will get better. When will it? You mean an exact date? Yes. No. I don't know. I'm just so tired. You've been training for this your whole life, dear. Dear, your whole life has been leading up to this time. I just don't know that I'll ever be able to do this like you and Dad. You shouldn't. You should forge your own path. Create your own happily ever after. Now, do you have that blue potion? Uh, is it the stuff in the blue tube? Yes. Then yes, I've got it. Good. Rub some on her bottom. It's smooth as her diaper rash. But what if she cries or kicks me again? She's a baby, son. Maybe so, but I've got some bruises. Yes. But what if that isn't what's bothering her? What if it's something else? You'll get to know her cries. It took me two months to learn the difference between when you're hungry and when we're tired. There is no difference, Mom. She just cries about everything all the time. It feels that way. No, it is that way. She has two moods, crying and screaming. Give it time. But I'll be dead from exhaustion before her first birthday, and we still have to get through teething. You'll be fine. Now, you can hold our granddaughter up to the screen. I think she fell asleep, so I don't want to move her. All that crying, she passed out. Well, when she wakes up, tell her that Grammy and Papa love her very much. Will we see you this weekend? Couldn't keep us away. I love you. Love you too, son. Plus, my main feline, how's it hanging? Murray? In the virtual flesh. How's the campaign coming? It's good. We just got one lit, one small hitch in our get along. Then we can get right back on track. Okay. It's so small. It's actually so small, I didn't know that I should bother you with it. But I said I'd run it up the flagpole, so here I am. What's up? Well, the client is kind of having a problem with the whole boots thing. But that's my name. 
Puss in Boots. What kind of a match is that? Are you? Yeah, I'm Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Think about it. Puss in Boots. No one actually says it out loud. Puss in Boots. Puss in Boots. Boots, boots, boots. The word doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Sure it does. Puss in Boots. It's short, sweet, simple to remember. But what cat wears boots? Me. I do. I'm puss in boots. Yeah, I get that. But do you know how many other cats are going to want to wear boots? It's not exactly our brand. The poem isn't the frog pounds on the cat wearing boots. It tiptoes on little cat feet. But I like the boots. It makes me unique. Yeah, but that our test records show that 42% of the cats we interviewed for the whole we interviewed felt the whole boots thing was kind of showing. They did? Yeah, I mean, here you are. The cat running around wearing knee high boots. They're not even booties, they go up over your knee. And then you got that whole leather vest thing. What image are you trying to portray here, puss? Leather boots. But that's the fashion. Is that the only fashion statement we can make? When we test marketed the idea of pushing platforms, the ladies really got behind it. But I can't sword fight in platforms. I can't even run in platforms. I'll break my neck. You do have nine lives, and hey, every life could have another type of platform. Now that's a synergy. Another, uh, ev a platform for every life. But I'm a swashbuckler. We don't wear platforms. Okay, that's fair. And that's what I told them. So they don't want to be irrelevant. So what about Puss and PJs? That's got a ring to it. That's got a good ring to it. And it's family friendly. We could do a whole cross pollination thing. Puss and PJs. I don't know. I kind of like that note for my brand. How long will that last? You're going, I mean, you're not going to be young forever. At some point, you're going to want to settle down in a future that could sustain you. I'm going to stick with what I got. And you won't reconsider. I don't think so. Well, that's what I thought you'd say, but I did want to th run it up the flag for you. I appreciate that. Well, maybe. I mean, okay, that's it then. Nothing else? Well, maybe one more thing. It's not something ridiculous, is it? Like, now you want me to change my species. <laughs> nah, yeah, about that. Hello? Hi, Philip. It's me. Aurora! Sweetie, kind of busy. I know, I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to talk. Now is not a good time. Now is never a good time, Philip. You're always at some meeting or at some royal event or riding off on your horse. So. Can we talk about this later? No, we are going to talk about this now. Fine. What is your problem? Why do you always assume it's my problem? Maybe it's a flaw in the system, or something's wrong with the castle, or maybe just maybe the issue isn't me. Oh, okay. Whose issue is it? Well, mine. But you didn't need to assume it was mine. Right. Sorry. What are we talking about? I want to get a job, Philip. A job? You have a job! You're a princess. It's not a job, it's just a term of endearment. It's literally every girl's dream job. To be a princess? Yes! No, because being a princess means nothing. Hold on a sec. Ugh, what do I do? Seriously. I want to crouch on a balcony, cut ribbons at the opening of new events, I pose for pictures. None of it means anything. I want to do something that matters.
Sorry, things got out of hand there, he was saying. Are you kidding? This is what I'm talking about. You don't even listen. I'm in the middle of something. That's, you always are. I have a duty. That's what I'm saying. I want a duty. I want to do something that matters. Like what? I don't know, volunteer at the library or teach middle school. If I could just get a nursing degree, I could help out at the sick castle clinic. Or I have some really good ideas if I could just get on the agricultural committee. Or maybe I could be the ambassador to other kingdoms. No, you can't leave. Why not? You're in danger! Yes, Philip, I'm in danger of going crazy. I'm in danger of wasting my life on meaningless stuff. The whole kingdom's in danger. There's a dragon on the loose. Well, then, let me help. I want to be so much more than just a princess. But that's all you are. That's all you'll ever be. Hold on. There. Phew, just slay the dragon. That's my point. I can slay my own dragons. I just needed you to listen. But you had to turn it into something about you. Mr. Hill, while well, I sit at home on a divorce. So much for happily ever after. <laughs> Everdale b and Rentals, how may I direct your call? I'm calling about the bed and breakfast I rented. Sure, I could help with that. I just need your name. Goldilocks. Mm -hmm. uh, great. And the address? I don't know. It's a cottage in the woods. I think I found it. I think I found it. Yes, here it is. How may I help you? This isn't what I booked. Oh, I'm sorry. How so? It's just not what was advertised. I'm looking for your form right now. You're interested in a quant cottage, woodsy neighborhood. Two bedroom, one bath with a con continental breakfast. But that's not what I got. According to our records, it is. The continental breakfast stunk. All they had was oatmeal and it was either too hot or too cold. Dun -dun. I'm sorry. Can I put you on hold for a moment? Everdale b and and Rentals, how may I direct your call? Can you help me? Uh, well, that's what I'm here for. We rented one of your cottages. Mm-hmm, I see. Do you know the address? No, but it's a continental place for the whole in the woods with a continental breakfast. I'm looking for your reservation. Can you tell me how I could help? My mom and dad are out walking. That's nice. Would you like to upgrade to our star level? You get a complimentary gym membership. I think there's somebody in the house. Can you hold, please? Sorry. So I'm sorry for the delay. We are swamped today. Okay. Okay, this is a nightmare. The chairs are either too soft or too hard. The showers are either a fire hose or a trickle. The toilets are either too high or too low. The pretzels are either salty or absolutely naked. The pillows are... Are you, are you still there? Yes, and so is she. Go the furniture. Yes, and so is she. She's sitting on all the furniture and using all the toilets and eating all the food. Have you asked why she's there? 
My parents said not to stop the train yard. Where are you now? I'm hiding in the I'm closet. Hiding. Okay, hold please, I'll be right back. The TV, sorry, they're too big or too small. The shampoo is either dusty or too flat. The sunscreen is either SPI five or a thousand. And it's just olive oil. The olive oil is either a blend or extra virgin. The pans are either iron or nonstick. The soul. Hold, please. Now she's okay. talking to somebody on the phone, just making a list of everything she has. I'm back. The shoes are either boots or sandals. Sidewalks are either to paved or not paved at all. The towels are either too scratchy or too absorbent. Are you still there? Yes, can you call the police? She's pulling all the stuff in there the sofa. Not to worry, sir. We have a solution. The books, they're either to nonfiction or romance. The milk is either non-fat or full flat. Excuse me, miss, is there anything about this rental that just seems right? Nope. Nope. Nothing. That's what I'm saying. Nothing is just right. I'm going to live, I'm never going to live happily ever after here. Okay, miss, I could see if we have another rental available in the neighborhood. I, I could book you there for a night is it a nice place we think so it's listed as candy lovers paradise loads of privacy with unique decor it's made entirely out of gingerbread with a peanut brittle roof what kind of gingerbread is it really hard brittle stuff or is it just soft molasses-y junk and the peanut brittle is it chunky or smooth Be just right. Fine, I'll take it. Okay, I'm transferring it to your account now. There you go. You can check in anytime you want. On my way. Terrific, the owner is dying to eat you. What? Meet you, the, she's dying to meet you. Whatever. I didn't say meet you. Hello, welcome to WebMD. How can I help you? You guys answer medical questions, right? Yes, ma'am. We offer medical advice and our guidance. Great, because I have a problem here. We are happy to help. Can you tell me how to get a thorn out of the lion's paw? Absolutely. I can help you with that. I just need to answer a few questions first. Um, okay. Who's your insurance carrier? I'm sorry? I need your insurance. Why? So we know who to bill for the advice. Yeah, 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 it's just a little thorny, it's hurting. Well, let's end his pain. Your insurance? Um, blue A-X-E. Great. And the policy number? It's just a little thorn. I don't think we need. Policy number? Um, three, seven, nine, double eight. One, two. Terrific. Do you think I need tweezers? Group number? What? I just need your group number. 42. Can we do Slater? He's in a lot of pain.
Is this a PPO? What? A PPO. I don't know what that is. It's on the back of your card. Maybe some pliers will work. Well, I still need that info. Yes, yes, it's a PPO. Has your billing or mailing address been changed in the last six months? No, 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 please, he's hurting. I just wanna help him. So do we, ma'am. That's why we're here. Oh, you know what? I just pulled the third out, no problem. And the patient? Seems to be happy. He's actually looking at me right now. Quite a big guy. I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks for your help. No trouble at all. We'll just send your bill to your house. Bill? What bill? Your insurance plan has a $500 distributable. $500? For what? For all our help today. You didn't do anything. You were just too busy talking about my info. Any bill you send, I'm not paying it. That's all right, ma'am. We'll just add it to your student loan. Baby girl, I didn't think I'd get to talk to you, much less see you. You know, I know. But the staff here are really kind, and they managed to sneak this contraption in so then I could talk to you. Is that safe? I think so. Well, put it, you put it away if you hear anything. I will. It's not right. I'm the one who should be in that castle. No, this is the only way. But you didn't cause this. Neither did you. But... No, I chose this. You need to be where you could get a hospital with your heart condition. Stupid heart. Are they treating you okay? Yeah, there are actually a lot more hospital, hospital, a lot more hospitalized than you think. Meals are quite the to-do around here. Really? Oh yeah, it's nothing you've ever seen before. Lots of dancing and singing. It's kind of wonderful. And him? What about him? Dad, we only have a few minutes. So, did you get my present? Yes. And? And what? It's amazing. It's amazing. It's perfect. It's utterly amazing. But how? How what? It's a limited edition. How did, how were you able to get it? I have my ways. <laughs> Yeah, you do. You know it's used though, right? That makes it even more special. Who wants a new book when you could already have something that's worn and already loved? Did you read it? Nope, I saved it for you. Well, it's a story about this girl who could actually fly. Can you imagine? Well, you make my heart sore, so I guess so. How are you holding up? Christmas isn't the same. I know. I thought I'd go to bed on Christmas Eve and what, not wake up till after the new year. Don't say that. I'm fine. You're not fine and nobody, you're not fine and nobody should be alone on Christmas. I'm not alone, I have you. <laughs> what about the old woman down the road? The one with all the kids? I saw her trying to catch her eye a few times. Honey, she lives in a shoe. It's a boat. Boo. Still, 
Well, you at least have a Christmas tree. Seems kind of silly since it's just me. Well, at, at least put up some decorations. We'll see. And what about you? I don't know. He's not a big thing on Christmas. I think it's something to do with his past, but nobody here will talk about it. What are you going to do? I thought I'd nose around in the attic and see if there's any decorations up there. Maybe if I show him how wonderful Christmas can be, he'll change his mind. Well, if anyone can, you can. Okay. <laughs> love you, Dad. I love you too, my good sweet girl. I guess this isn't the happily ever after we ever, we both dreamed about, is it? No, 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 it isn't. But the story isn't over yet. Sometimes it feels that way. Don't give up, my girl. Christmas is the time of miracles. We could use one right now. I'll see what I can conjure up. <laughs> Don't be alone at the holiday, Dad. Promise me you won't be alone. What's that? Someone's coming. I've got to go. Merry Christmas, Dad. Merry Christmas, Bill. Merry Christmas. Hello? Pookie? Cinderella, hey! How did you get this number? I have all your numbers, Pookie. Wow! And Pookie has a nickname, huh? What am I supposed to call you after we get married? I'm not going to call you Prince Charming. That would make me Mrs. Charming, and that's so formal. So Pookie it is. And you can call me Honey Bun. I can? And look, this dress I'm wearing for the ball tonight is awesome. It's something. Sin. Look, about tonight. Another ball, just like when we met. Yeah. Thing is, though, my family really cut back on the guest list. Okay. And, it, and it's just a select few. Okay. And you'll probably have more fun staying at home tonight anyways. They don't want your fiancé there? It, it's a royal thing. It's complicated. Maybe I should talk to them. After all, I'm going to be a royal one day. No, no. You can't talk to them. It's probably going to be boring. You have more fun at home with your sisters. Look, babe. Honey bun. Right. I got to take this other call. We'll talk tomorrow. AC, what's up, my man? There you are, honey bun. Honey bun? What? You call her honey bun? Who's this? Nobody! Nobody? How are you here? I blocked this call. You wanted to block me? Again, who is that? My ex. Your ex? Which one? The one with the dwarves or the one with the foot thing? I don't have a foot thing. <laughs> oh, please. Glass slippers? That doesn't make you a princess. Princess? No, but when I marry him, I'll be one. What is she talking about? Nothing. Nothing? So, are we still going to the ball or what? Wait, you're taking her to the ball? Duh, I gotta meet his pants before we get married. He's marrying me. <laughs> oh, please, you're a chambermaid in a nice dress. Pookie, tell her you're marrying me. Pookie, I don't get to call, I get to call 
and Pookie. You don't get to call him Pookie. Chambers maids don't call him Pookie. You call him Sir or Your Highness. I'm going to call you an ambulance in a minute. Oh, bring it on, Ash girl. I have to talk to you later. I have an emergency call. Hi, honey. No, what are you doing? I thought you were spending the weekend with the dwarves. I was. Something came up. What? I don't know. Something about a mind collapse in tunnel number three creating extreme danger. The connection was terrible, so I just ignored it. But that means I'm free to go to the ball after all. Are you kidding me? Who's on the phone, Pookie? Seriously? Pookie? I'm crying out loud. Who is this? His ex. The one with narcolepsy? I don't have narcolepsy. It's a sleeping disorder and lots of people have it. Who are they, Pookie? Nobody! Nobody? Look, Cindy, it's the boring girl with the dwarves. I'm not boring. Who says I'm boring? You're boring. Everybody? <laughs> Everybody says you're annoying. You don't have anything. I have a thing. Oh, yeah? What would that be? Exactly. You don't have a thing. I've got the sleeping thing, the dragon thing, and the spinning wheel thing. I've got the godmother thing, the slipper thing. You have no gimmick. I'm gonna be queen. That's a big, that's a thing. That's a big thing, Ash girl. I'll be the queen. I'll be the queen. Pookie, tell them I'm gonna be your queen. Yeah, what's up with that, Pookie? Look, it's not my fault, okay? I can't help that. I can't help it that there are all kinds of princesses and only one prince. That's not on me. You can talk to the Grim Brothers. So you're engaged to all of us? Yes. No, maybe. Look, I can. Grim Brothers, one prince, lots of princesses. Ten minutes ago, I was, like, so in love with you, but we're through. Wait. Oh, my God. You s still want her? You are such a loser! I, I did it. I can't believe I gave up Dopey for you, you jerk! Hello? Why are you, what are you doing? Why aren't you home? You're not still planning to go to that stupid ball, are you? What? No, honey bun. Don't call me that. I just need you to get dandruff shampoo on your way home and pick up some diapers, like a big box, because the baby's going through like Kleenex. Yes, dear. Happily ever! <laughs>